Okay, this is just a quick video walkthrough of the 2008 Alpha Gold that we have listed for sale. This is coach number 4616. Come on in. We'll never buy it. Okay, so we're just doing this video walkthrough to show you a few of the features this has that aren't easily shown on still photos. Um, here we have the cockpit area. Um, pretty run-of-the-mill freight liner, although this is a top-of-the-line chassis with the airbags. It has independent front suspension on it. Um, we do have the Atwood automatic levelers and the digital transmission. We do have uh, pedal adjustment, steering wheel adjustment, so everything is fully adjustable. And of course, both of these cockpit seats, both the, the passenger and the driver's seats, are fully electronic with several degrees of motion on each one of them. Step. We have the step cover here, which comes down. I'm not going to demonstrate that right now, uh, but it is made with the... Uh, we do have the cork wood on top of the step, step cover. Also, it is an electronic step cover. Throughout, a few things we have are the MCD shades. Uh, some of them in the front are electric. Most of them are manual pull-down, but they are the day and night shades. So they are easily... That's one that's electric. <laughs> right here. We have... They pull down, lock in place, pull down, go back up. And we have the, these ones also, which are great for blocking out a large percentage of the sun. This is a chair that's just floating in here randomly. This can come, or, you know, you can leave it or, or take it. It was, um, it's been a good chair for us. Here we have a, okay, here we have a couch that is convertible to a bed. I'll show you real quick how that works. You just remove these three cushions. you've done that, these flip backwards, and this is your bed. This is uh, a double size bed. I'm bring it back. It's very simple. This is ultra leather, by the way. Just re reverse the process. Very simple to do. Put the cushions back in place. As you probably saw, there were seat belts integrated into this couch also, of course. So, in the prior video, you saw the couch, but what you didn't see was this storage unit behind it. This is something that's come standard on Alphas. I had removed it when I did some modifications, but I have since put it back and I made it longer and slightly larger even than the original, and I get it, gave it even a longer lid. And so this is just a cavity. Um, it's about six inches wide and it's about 90 inches long. Um, so you can store all sorts of things in there, folding chairs, pictures, posters, uh, fishing poles, whatever. And so that's one change. And of course, then that, that moved the snake lights. They used to be mounted on the wall. Now they're mounted down on that. Again, that was more original and there's your snake light there. Okay, and this is just a moving table that I have stowed here. Okay, I'm sorry I don't have someone else to help me with the video, so... Continuing on, we have the booth dinette. Uh, newly upholstered in a deep drawer on each seat. This is also a butterfly leaf table. So it pulls out. And this is, if I'm remembering correctly, about 54 inches long in its extended state. Um, again, acting it, easily done. That's all there is to that. Let's just continue down this side of the motorhome. By the way, overhead, on top of the slide out, this is what they call fishing pole storage. This is just a cavity where you can put long slender things. This is our pantry. 
ample storage, larger pantry than most motor homes on the market. For full timers, this is fantastic. You can fit lots of things in here. And it's got a pretty door on it also. Let's go ahead and finish up the front side. These are doors that can be folded to block off the rear portion with the bedroom in the front. Of course, the bathroom can be closed as well, so you create some privacy back there and a nice little gathering place up front here. Let's go ahead and do this side of the motorhome. I already mentioned the chair. You probably noticed that we have several televisions. There's one above the cockpit. There's one here. There's another one in the bedroom back there, and you'll see later that there's one outside also. All these televisions are nice in that they fold up, so you still have access to the storage behind them. All three of the televisions inside do this. It's been very nice. This is the galley. This is a Corian countertop, so it wears well. This is an extra, extra deep countertop. You can put appliances, you can put a line of appliances behind the faucet here. It's so deep, which again is nice. Also in the top is an integrated trash can cover, so you can just drop trash through this hole, or you can lift this off. And again on the exterior, there's a doorway that you can open up to remove that trash can from the outside, so you don't have to drag it out of here and drag it through your motorhome to empty your trash. Very convenient, very well thought out. If you need a little more counter space, you can pull this out, it snaps in, in a perfect world. You've always got to line up these latches, just like that. And you've got an extra couple of feet, square feet of countertop space, and you've got some shelving and some nice storage down in here also. And putting it away is very easy. That's all there is to it. Lots of storage. I won't pull out every drawer, but there's four of these drawers. One very large drawer at the bottom, massive drawer, very deep. And then some under the sink storage with the pull-out, making it convenient to access also. Ample storage above. This is what they call attic storage in the Alpha line of coaches. Again, this is something most motorhomes don't have because this has seven and a half foot tall ceilings versus the seven foot tall industry standard. So you can fit a lot more storage in here. We have a convection microwave oven, full size, a three burner range, propane range, that's an Atwood with the electronic ignition, and a cover, and of course, an oven. And the refrigerator is a Dometic type refrigerator running off propane and gas. It functions very well with an ice maker. And nothing more to say about that except that it works very well. The bathroom is plenty adequate, good storage in it also, a little sink. It is a ceramic toilet, so it's very nice. Um, nice flucking, flushing mechanism on it as well. I should also mention that we have four fantastic vents throughout the coach. One of them is here in the bathroom. There was one of them up there in front of the TV for the kitchen. So continuing on to the back. This is a custom made Murphy bed. Again, a feature you're not going to see in other motor homes. And this was done so that we could really open up the floor space in here. It had a king size bed in here initially that crowded the room, we felt like, so we put this in here instead. It does not yet have a mattress on it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how it works anyway. The way this works, it's latched in an upward position very well, so it's not going to come down while you're driving. 
You just lift these two legs very simply. And you pull it down. Now, with the mattress on there, it'll come down a little easier. It's still not hard. But for those of you who've seen a Murphy bed, you know how they work. It comes down and it rests on the feet. You can have your bedding, your pillows, and everything on there during transport. No problem. You open it up. We have two snake reading lights mounted above the bed. Windows. There are speakers above your head here for television viewing because on the opposing wall, uh, there's a television screen. So you can use it kind of like a day bed or sit in it kind of like a couch almost or at night uh, while you're reading and watching TV. It's very nice. The bed can fold down with the slide out. It still folds down even with the slide in. There's room for it to come down so you can still use it. If you're in a parking lot or some other place where you're not able to put your slide out, you will still be able to use the bed. No problem. On the other there used to be a Murphy bed here that I had installed, and you saw that on the video. The Murphy bed is obviously gone now, and I've gone back with a more customary bed design. Um, this is more like the original that was in here. So it is a king size bed. It's got a cut corner on it that allows for it to slide in and go into this corner here. And on either side of the bed is a little bedside table with a cabinet. These cabinets are larger than the originals. It's just a cavity. Uh, a lot of storage there. And so I've put the valence back over the window, which had to be removed when I had the Murphy bed in here. Put the wall sconces back up. And so on the front of this bed, which I've also custom made, I put drawers. So you've got six drawers. These are accessible very easily. And so these ones in the middle are slightly narrower, but plenty of storage space here uh, for putting socks and undergarments and things of that nature. And there's also under bed storage. So I'm going to pause the video right now so I can lift that up for you and then we'll resume. Okay, so here's what it looks like under the bed. Um, what I've done is I've made this about a foot wider and a foot. So it's about a foot wider this direction, and it's about a foot more this direction, and it's taller than the original that was in here. So uh, this is a very large storage space where you can put blankets, sleeping bags, things that you don't want to access as often because obviously you have to raise the bed and it's not as convenient. And here you can just see the tops of the drawers. I didn't bother to try to finish over the top of them. Uh, didn't see any real need to do that. And it's got the hydraulic supports. Um, and But even with the hydraulic supports, because I've made this a very sturdy bed, I put this kickstand in here just to prop it up for you so there's no worry about it coming down on top of you or anything of that nature. Again, you're going to put stuff under here that you don't need to access as frequently. It's not something you're going to get in and out of every day. But it's, it's a large amount of storage that was not in here when I had the Murphy bed. The other wall of the master bedroom is just a little desk space with some nice drawers. And a couple more drawers. This is a hinged compartment, a drawer, and a couple more drawers on that side. And again, the television that hinges out, and more storage still here. And, uh, yeah, a myriad of controls. The water heater controls sit back here. This is the main air conditioner, which you can read about in the listing. And um, this is part of our hydroponic heating system, which, again, you can read about in our listing. I'll detail it more there. And another fantastic vent directly overhead. This is a 27 foot long slide, by the way, that incorporates the bed, the pantry, the booth dinette, and the couch. They all sit within the same single driver's side slide.
So moving on back into this would be the shower and master closet. The shower is under renovation right now. I apologize, the door was shattered by one of our children, so we've got it on order to put it back in. So it doesn't look great right now, uh, but the shower is fantastic. It's a full-size shower. I'm six foot four, and this is plenty <laughs> tall for me to be in here. Plenty of room to move around, do what you need to do. A nice sunlight above with a shade that you can pour over. Even with a shade over, at six foot four, I still fit without any problem, and I've got shoes on. Great water pressure in here. Plenty of space. And so, and here's, a, of course, your sink. And um, we do have a medicine cabinet with the mirror inside conveniently so that you can still use the mirror and access your cabinet. And then on the other side, and then showing the shower, there's a fantastic vent in here also. These are the intakes for the air conditioning system. We have a nearly new uh, splendid washer dryer combo unit here. Uh, this is the 2100 XC, which is their latest model, as far as I know. And then we have plenty of hanging space here for shirts or even long dresses. Some drawers down there and a nice cabinet here also with some drawers. This bottom drawer is left out intentionally because there is an air vent down there. Hidden. And again, you'll see this throughout. We have the same MCD shades everywhere. This is an accordion style door, which is nice because it takes up very little space. And you can open it up and have complete privacy. Uh, I've put the regular door back in here. So on the prior video that I made, we had installed an accordion door, uh, which for us, I don't know, we just, it was functionally good when we had kids, but this is a much nicer dorm. It's a solid wood door. Um, and it just, it just creates a better environment, a better homey feeling. And of course it matches the other doors that are in here. All the other doors are those wood doors also okay so i believe that concludes inside. the inside of the motor do another video for the outside okay this is the 2008 alpha gold coach number 4616 that we have up for sale and uh, there's going to be a brief exterior rundown it does have keypad entry so you can program to it over code you wish grab bar which lights up with the porch light and a nice um, a retractable front step and of course it's pretty standard but it does have the separate screen door and entry door. The big selling point of this guy is this underbelly storage. It sits on a Freightliner chassis. This storage compartment does not pass all the way through, but it is quite deep here, at least six feet deep on the one side, about two and a half feet deep on the right side there. It's pretty cavernous. Here, if you watch the interior demo, we showed you the trash can and the kitchen sink. This is the exterior portion. You can remove the trash can. This is also the low pressure water fill in here. the back of the refrigerator, the back of the heater, furnace. This is a fantastic compartment. It has this very large quickie pull-out. This storage does pass all the way through and this makes it extremely convenient to get to everything. Underneath the same pull out slides out the other side of the coach, also, so you can get to things on the other side. Slides both directions. Also, in here, two smaller pull outs. I've had as much as 250 pounds in these drawers, so they handle quite a bit of weight. And there's another one identical there. We call this the party side of the bus. 
it does have an awning above us. That's about 21 feet long and extends out about 12 feet. I'm not going to put it out today because it's pretty windy out here. Um, but here we have a uh, Waco uh, freezer or cooler. It can operate both as a freezer or, or a refrigerator, so you can keep cold drinks in there. When we were touring around, we kept our cold meats in there. We kept them frozen. It works very well. It works off of either DC or AC power, so it continues working even when you're not plugged in and don't have a generator running. This is the fourth television on board. It's a swivel out LCD. So you can swivel it out, move it around. There are two speakers mounted on the door with volume control. Also in this compartment, we have a Camp Chef propane stove that we have used, sort of modified to fit in here well. Very high power, got two burners, and we have the hookup cable here. This is the gas line. It's a quick connect. You just plug it into there, you plug it into the propane port here. This is a low pressure regulated propane port, and you're ready to go. It stands up right here, or anywhere within about six feet of here. So, and there's more, I mean, put a few more storage things in here also. This is also the compartment where you access the central vacuum system, which I failed to mention on the interior, but we do have the Red Devil central vacuum here, uh, and it's inside the house underneath the refrigerator is where the port is. So moving on down, more compartments here. This is just a generic compartment. A lot of the electrical fuses and such are in here. This is the basement air conditioning system. It works very well. This is a nice compartment just for miscellaneous items. You notice that the windows all have awnings on them, individual awnings that are electronic. We have a 10,000 pound hitch back here. We can pull our link and navigate with it so it can handle. Side. We have some of our air ducting running through here. This is one of the hookup cabinets. Another huge selling point. Of course, you've got the 50 amp cable, passes through the bottom, but it's also on an electronic reel for reeling it back up. Super easy to reel it up. Here's our water connection over here. Same story. It's also on an electric reel, so you and it, it routes out through the bottom of the of the motorhome, very easy to coil back up. The small compartment up there is where the chassis batteries are, cranking the engine. And over here is the water compartment. Um, with a Sandy Flush system in it, the exterior shower, all of your cable hookups, telephone hookups, uh, electronic valves for both the gray and the black tank. Everything here is working well. Convenient grab handle, paper towel dispenser. All of these compartments have lights in them, of course. And they can all be set to where lights come out automatically when you open the door. Continuing down to the next compartment, This is the um, pull-out, as I mentioned, it pulls out to the side also. I won't pull it out all the way, but it comes out very far. Here's the propane. It's a 38-gallon propane tank, so it lasts for quite a long time. This is where I keep my leveling blocks above the propane because this is not a lockable cabinet. Of course, it can't be by law. So you put things in here that you don't care a whole lot about, like pieces of wood. In this compartment is our twin temp hydroponic heating system. 
This is a wonderful system that provides you with continuous hot water like an on-demand water heater. But it also provides you with a, um, with a uh, mode of heating the interior without using a propane furnace. This one does work off propane, but it circulates hot water for the heating. It works very well. And it also heats the tile floors on the inside of the, of the coach. It does have heated tile floors because there's a, a circuit of tubes running underneath them that, that warm up when the fluid is pumped through them. Very nice on the cold nights. But we've enjoyed taking 45 minute showers without ever running out of hot water. Again, you'll see the electric awnings over both of these windows. Chrome gas tap. This is the water heater, the standard water heater. So, in addition to the on demand, you do have a standard water heater, which is nice to have. Um, this is just an accessory airline, pneumatic line for running air tools or inflating your tires. And this is just a little storage compartment where you fill up the window washer fluid and does have the diamond shield coating on it, uh, which is supposed to protect the paint. Um, and of course this is where the generator is. It's a Generac uh, generator and it works, uh, works very well. well. It does. And it's a six battery bank, six six volt batteries in parallel and in series. Those are for inner converter. Four of them work the inverter. Two of them are coach batteries. And that, uh, just a couple of other points. It does have a four-point leveling system, which I, I believe I mentioned before. Independent front suspension on the chassis, which makes for a fantastic ride. And the wheelbase on this coach is extremely long, so it's very good at cornering. Very good balance going down the highway. You're going to find very few motorhomes that control better than this one does going down the highway. I think that concludes it.